Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University and Avengers issue number two. Oh my God, Jason Aaron should write all of the comic books. No, he, he shouldn't. But this is really good. I'm going to tell you this is so good that um, I, I don't want this to sound mean. I swear to God, I don't want this to sound mean. But I'm happy reading Captain Marvel in this. I'm happy reading Carol Danvers in this. She's Carol Danvers again. Like she sounds like the Carol Danvers I used to read back in the day. Not just full of confidence, but also knowing what she's doing, being in charge, not being bossy, you know what I'm saying? But actually being in charge, having tactical solutions, changing those in an instant to save a teammate. Wow. Love this, love this, love this. Um, the, the art. Oh my God. I love the art in this. This is great. But I mean, when you got Ed McGinnis and, and, uh, Mark Morales, Jay Lyston and, and David, uh, Curiel, dude, how do you, how do you not enjoy the art? There's a scene in here where Captain America gets hurt. Like, by hurt, I mean his Quinjet explodes while he's in it. And you see the agony on his face. And how he gets saved is one thing. Yes, he gets saved. I'm not telling you how he gets saved. It's kind of a messed up story. But, um, <laughs> dude, like, holy crap, man. Like, that. I, I looked at this and I felt anguish inside seeing the pain on his face. It was drawn great. We get a better understanding of what these new versions of the Celestials are, or these older versions of the Celestials. Um, this is gorgeous, man. One of the Celestials actually goes and has a conversation. Uh, Esson has a conversation with She-Hulk. Wow. Wow. That literally, for me, is a turnaround, which just makes me like, oh my god, this is great! That alone would have made this comic book amazing, but there's so much more. This is such a great... And then seeing She-Hulk versus um, Robbie Reyes as Ghost Rider. And Robbie, like, he's fighting. He's being Robbie, you know what I'm saying? And, like, his external dialogue being so different from his internal dialogue is so spot-on perfect. Look... Are these all the characters that we know and love and we we know how they're really supposed to act? No, a lot of these guys are actually acting differently. But I am so okay with the way that they're being portrayed that I love it. I love it. It's great seeing Thor actually back to being Thor. You know, he's excuse me, still the, the unworthy Odin son or whatever, and I'm totally cool with it. It's just so amazing. And guys, like, some of this art and these fight scenes are just sick. Look at Ghost Rider and She-Hulk. Is this the fight that you always want? No, it's the fight you never knew you wanted, but it's so cool to see it. This is a fantastic comic book. I'm digging this. And the, the last couple of panels on this comic book, dude, are... Wow. Wow. Like the, the last page is a splash page. You get to see who the narrator was for here for this entire issue. And it's perfect. I kind of expected it because I've been looking at previews. I've been looking at teasers. I've been looking at um, interviews and articles. Um, but man, man, I did not expect this last page to look the way that it looks. And brother, I'm telling you right now, have you ever, if you're a collector of comic books, have you ever collected comic books and you're just like, you're like, okay, I need to save my money. I'm not going to buy this particular run or something like that right now. I'm not going to, I'm not going to collect this title. Hey, you know, LCS, you know, a local comic book shop owner, could you take this book out of my pull list? Just, I need to save some money. You know what I'm saying? The comic books out weekly. I need to, you know, save a couple bucks, but then you come to realize like a month later or or longer when the prices have gone up because there's such memorable comic books that you're like, you know what? I wish I would have bought them because now I'm spending two or three times the amount to pick up these issues. Yeah. May I give you a little bit of advice? That's what these stories are. Right now, if you're on the fence, come off the fence. Come over to my side. Go ahead and put this stuff in your poll box. I'm telling you right now. It's so effing worth it. For the sake of conversation, seriously, go ahead and check this stuff out. All right? Get these, just get these first two issues. If you're not hooked, I was wrong. I don't know you. Get these first two issues. Take the chance that maybe I'm right. You might thank me. Never know.
Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, com did I give a grade yet? I don't think I gave a grade yet. I'm going to have to give it an A. This is a great comic book. This seriously, like, you know the the duality of the story seeing the old story and the and the current story like the million bc uh avengers and the current avengers is just so fantastic like I, I you thought i had nothing else to say right no i'm trying to like temper myself and not give you too much of the book but i've just got so much opinion about this and we're also learning more about the celestials and about this final host we've always heard about the final host but then to actually turn it into an entirely different breed of sentinels that can kill other sentinels. <laughs> so, and especially also hearing confirmation of the news today that we are indeed going to be getting the Eternals and therefore the Celestials in phase four of Marvel after um, uh, episode four, the, the excuse me, Avengers uh, movie number four whatever they're going to call it. We don't even know the name of it for certain right now. So, dude, that's this is the perfect story for right now. This is the perfect story. Also, go back and check out The Eternals. All right, that's it for me finally. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.